Welcome to Juni Lai and William's Adventures. I'm going to let Juni Lai say hi. Hello everybody. It's good to see you guys again. We came with a subject today that we want to be talking about that we thought was very important. Our subscribers. And we usually get our subjects from our subscribers guys. And we've had a lot of subscribers say they're coming over to the Philippines in the next 90 days. Within the next 90 days. So this is what we want to talk about for a little while. So, you're coming to the Philippines. Now what? And Juni Lai, I think that it's important that we talk about everything from getting off the plane to meeting the LDR, if that's what you're doing, your long distance relationship, to if you're going to, if she has family with her. Uh, what about where are you going to stay? What's your itinerary? What are you going to do if you're coming here for a month or three weeks? Uh, some of you that are coming for your first time, we're going to tell you what happens from the very time that you get off the plane. So that's kind of what we want to talk about. So you're coming to the Philippines. Now what? All right, so guys, we're just smiling. I remember the first time that I came to the Philippines. And I came with another gentleman. We had took vacation from work. We were coming for about, I'd say, three weeks, 18 days or so. And from the time we got off the plane, it was culture shock. Number one, we were catching a direct flight from New York, JFK, and we had to come from Philadelphia, so we had to get to New York. We had to get on Philippine Airlines. That's what we flew on. Uh, Philippine Airlines left once a day, six days a week. It left at about 1.45 in the a.m. And remember, when you come to the Philippines, guys, you're riding right now because the clocks were turned uh, forward, I think, uh, in the U.S., it's 13 hours difference. It's a 13 hour difference. You're flying into the future. So number one thing, if you got your tickets, you know when you're coming. Some of you have been talking to a long distance relationship for a few months and you're excited about coming to the Philippines. Some of you are coming alone. You took your vacation time and you're ready to come. So what to expect? from the time that you get off the plane. Well, number one thing that's going to hit you, it's a 16 hour flight from New York. That's one way. Some of you have connecting flights that are coming from other parts of the country. Maybe you're coming from the West Coast, but most flights come into Naia. That's in Manila, right? Yes, Manila Airport. And when you come into Manila, guys, you've never seen culture shock until you land in Naia. It's a huge airport. It's big as JFK or bigger. Any of you been to JFK know it's a huge airport. And so everything is coming at you. The first thing that hits you is the heat, guys. If you've never been somewhere hot, the heat is going to overwhelm you when you first get there. So you'll get adjusted to that after a while. But that's the first thing will hit you. People are coming at you once you check through uh, uh, immigration. Um, and be polite, guys, when you come through immigrations. Don't, there's long lines. Most of the time, you have to go through check-in. They're going to stamp your passport. You'll get uh, a 30-day tourist visa, most of you, right from the beginning. USA is on the tourist visa list. You can get a, a tourist visa upon entry for 30 days before you would have to uh, renew your visa before the 30th day if you're staying longer. And so... The next thing is everybody's going to rush you about catching a cab, where you're going. I would hope you already have a, a hotel or Airbnb book. Some of you are probably going to be meeting your date or your girlfriend or the person you've been talking to, I would think. If that's the case. Well, this is a question, guys. What if you meet your long distance relationship and she meets you at the airport and what if after you guys are talking for a while, what if you don't have anything in common? What happens if you don't get along with her? Remember, guys, even though you've been talking to her for maybe three months, two months, some of you guys have said, what if it's not the same in person as it was online? I mean, does that happen, Junior? Yeah, that's true. What's, what's your observations from the Filipinas' point of view? What are you guys thinking? 
when you've been talking to a foreigner like us for I don't know. Sometimes not same as at the meeting the person. What do you? What's your feeling when you're going to meet you? Flew, Just nervous. You flew by yourself. Yeah. But, but is that the app normal? Yeah, that's normal. Is it normal for a girl to come alone? Yeah, if to you, the if, airport. If, if you're not ready, that, then there's no problem. I've seen I've seen a lot of situations that foreigners said when they showed up at the airport that the girl showed up with like cousins and aunts and and half the family. Yeah, the others do that. Does that happen? Yeah. And so, guys, we're just trying to say be ready for all different kinds of scenarios. Cause remember, you're coming to a totally different place. It's a different atmosphere. It's a different vibe. Um, some of you probably booked your hotel room. I don't know if you booked it in Manila. Remember, if you're coming to anywhere else after you leave Manila, you're going to have to probably either get a connecting flight or you're going to have to get a hotel, spend a couple nights if that's what your situation is in Manila, and then go on to your next destination. Um, once you get here, one of the other things that we always wanted to say because I kept telling Junie Lee this, Junie Lee this, is that after that flight, you're tired. Remember, you rode, you flew 16 hours, I did, on a plane, one way. You could hardly sleep because you're sitting in a plane. You know, it's, they're feeding you food, three meals, people are talking, the lights are on, they're off, there's activity around you, you can't get comfortable. So the one thing you might want to do when you get here is get yourself some rest before you make any kind of big decisions about where you're going, what you're going to do. Make sure that when you get to the airport, I recommend that you get in one of the white taxi cabs, not the white vans, not the yellow cabs, because they're going to try to overcharge you. Everybody's going to be thinking that you're a mark when you get to that airport. They're going to be trying to sell you a uh, load from smartphone or, or Glow. They're going to be trying to tell you about exchanging your money. Just exchange a little bit of your money, guys, when you get to the airport. Just enough to get to your hotel. That's my advice. Just enough to get to the hotel because once you get into your hotel, the people at the hotel are going to know a lot of things. They're going to be able to give you advice. There's money changers that you can get a better rate than the airport that are around probably your hotel. And so I would advise not exchanging all your money. Remember... The other thing that's probably going to be the case, your phone's not going to work. Your phone from the USA, it won't work depending on the carrier you have. And even if it did, you need a different chip. So you also have to uh, make sure that you get your, uh, your phone unlocked from your carrier. If then you can still use that and put a Filipino chip in your phone so that it can work. Um, if not, you're not going to be able to call. Uh, there's a whole nother set of rules if you're coming as an expat that we'll talk about. We have talked about in some of our other videos, but we'll talk about uh, those things at another video. But we're basically talking now about the guys that told us they're coming in the next 90 days. And that's what we wanted to talk about. So you're coming to the Philippines. So now what? So some of you that are coming by yourself and you're planning on, you know, meeting a girl in person. You're planning on uh, dating when you get here. That's also a good option, guys. And you can go to where some of the places that you would think that guys could meet girls if they're coming alone. Uh, it, it depends on the guys where you, where you want to go. We don't know where you want to go. Where? But you you know. You're a Filipino. Where would you go? Do you guys go to the mall? Yeah, How, the where's, mall where's a good meeting spot? Uh, in the coffee shop. Coffee shop? Uh, karaoke places? No. no? Not, coffee no. shop? If you do karaoke, if you already know us to get together already. So, the mall? Yeah, the mall. A lot of malls in the Philippines, yeah. guys. A lot of malls. And so the thing is, there's no wrong way to do it, but there is a right way to do it. We just want to make sure that you have your best time when you come on vacation to the Philippines. That's why we're calling this segment, so you're coming to the Philippines. You, you have your ticket, some of you, and you're coming, and you're going to meet your long distance relationship but I just want to make sure and remind you that it doesn't always work out that the girl is the one that you want to be with when you get here and we're just saying what is going to be your situation if you get with that girl you've been talking to and decide 
that's not who I want to be with. So that's the situation, guys. Yeah. That's the situation, guys. And so, guys, yeah, that's mostly the situation. A lot of guys that are coming here, it's because they're in an LDR and they're coming to meet their girl for the first time. And mainly that's who we're talking to is a lot of the people that came the first time. If this is your second or third time, make sure you comment and tell some of the guys that are coming for the first time what you did. How were you as successful? Because what we don't want is guys that come over and take all your time and effort and money to come here and end up in a bad situation. Um, I, I can tell you stories of guys that, and we always advise not to send money to anyone that you haven't met in person at least once or twice, guys. Just, just don't. Don't send money to anybody. Because we know guys that we have talked to that sent money ahead to a girl they were talking to for six months, seven months, a year, or even longer. And then she ghosted them at the airport. She never showed up. They were left standing in the airport. They didn't know where to go. They had, they, you know, the guy almost had a heart attack. They had to take him to the hospital. This is a true story. So guys, don't send money to your L LDR, your long distance relationship. When you get here, you can treat her like a queen, but don't send her any money ahead, guys. That's just uh, the safest way to do it. But there's lots of islands you can go to uh, once you get here. Suppose that you hit it off with your LDR. Uh, there's plenty of islands to go to, right? Yes. What's some of the ones that you like? Uh, I like Boracay. Boracay. Bohol. Bohol was Batayan. beautiful. Batan we were at all those ones, Batanyan Island. And they're inexpensive, guys. Uh, the highest thing that you'll pay for is your plane ticket back and forth. But, you know, hopefully that everything goes well with your long-distance relationship in yourself. But we just want to make sure that you have an out in case it, it doesn't. A lot of times it's, it's, it's a wise idea to get settled into your hotel room, get you a good evening rest or get a few hours sleep, and then, you know, tell your girl, you're, you know, you're going to meet her then at the coffee shop or something. If she is going to come to your room with you and you guys hit it off, that's fine. But if you don't, you got to have a way to politely uh, say, hey, you know, I want, to take a, I want to take a day and get some rest and we'll talk tomorrow or something like that. There has to be a way. Because remember, once that girl meets you at the airport, that Filipina meets you at the airport, she's not going to let you out of her sight because she knows that there's hundreds and thousands of other women that are waiting here to see you walking through that mall. So remember, guys, it's no wrong way. You, if you're coming to meet your LDR, come on. If you're coming by yourself and you want to go to the clubs and you want to go to the different places in Manila for a couple of days before you fly somewhere else, that's okay too. Do that. But get your money exchanged once you get to the hotel. Wake up the next day, go to the money exchange. Get the, the lay of the land so you get the uh, feeling better. You don't want to be tired, guys, right? Running around doing anything, especially if your long-distance relationship meets you at the airport with a van full of uh, relatives and said <laughs> she's ready, they're all ready to go out and eat and they think that you're an a ATM machine that's landing, guys, but I've seen that happen. So just be aware of all the scenarios that you can face when you first get here. So now you're coming to the Philippines. So now what? Remember, guys, even when you pack your clothes, you don't need anything but shorts and, and polo shirts, a pair of nice walking sneakers, uh, some slides. The weather here is always hot, probably between 80 and 90 degrees all the time, guys. Your swim trunks, your sunglasses, your sunscreen. Uh, pack you some anti-diarrhea, Imodium, because you're going to need it, guys. The food is not going to agree with your stomach from the beginning. So just in case, you don't want to spend half, half your vacation in the bathroom, guys. You know, make sure that you're, you're okay. Get a physical before you come. Make sure you're feeling okay. Because the heat is the heat. Take your, bring your medication with you. you know, if you have Advils and things like that, pack those things. The only long clothes that you'll need is on the plane. You'll need a pair of sweatpants or jeans because it is a little uh, chilly on the flight. But other than that, when you get off the flight, it's going to be like you walked into a furnace, guys. So these are just some of the things that we wanted to talk about. One more thing I want to say before we close the video. There are some, um, if guys are coming here by themselves, right? There are some dating sites that they can get onto while they're here in the Philippines, right? Yeah. That girls meet on. Yes. What do you think some of those are? There are a lot of uh, dating sites in the 
like Facebook, you can do that. Facebook is really a big dating site, well, guys. We see each other in the paper in the Cupid. Right, that one. And a lot of more. Yeah, there's other ones over here too, and I'm quite sure. Remember that when you get to your hotel, they know a lot of things. The doorman can be a great resource. He knows everything. And make sure you don't get scammed by the cabs, guys. Get in the white cab when you get to the airport. And don't be buying any, any load and all this stuff. The people are going to come rushing you, trying to get you to do everything. So just get a good night's sleep, get to your hotel, and then get up the next day. And then you can go and start your vacation. Get that, get that rest so you can get acclimated, guys. So this is William this at, is Juni Juni at Juni Lee and William's yeah, Adventures. Adventures. And we just wanted to say, so you're coming to the Philippines, now what? Those are some of the things that we just want to let you make sure that you're aware of. And we'll see you next time, guys, and we'll talk a little more about that. If you got comments, feel free to put them. You got questions, feel free to put them. We might be doing a live on Monday, and we'll talk a little bit more to our uh, subscribers that are coming. Till next time, we'll see you here at Junie Lyon Williams Adventures. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later, yeah. guys. Bye.